Hi, good morning. This is Peace Fund Buddy, Dante speaking. We are going to resume the video coverage of the deboning of the bangos or milk fish. Earlier, we did a, an actual video clip of the deboning at the public market in Binmale, Pangasinan, at the stall of Nana Biata, a veteran deboner for the last 40 years, and also Teresa, her daughter-in-law who has been deboning bangus for the last 10 years. Uh, right now, we're going to repeat the process and uh, follow the technique of uh, Nana Biata and uh, Teresa. I asked my farm overseer to do the deboning. First, lay the bangus on each side with the tail away from you, the head near you. Then using a knife, slice the body from the tail along the back. towards the head, making sure that the tummy remains intact. Cut the head into two, then open it up so that the bangos assumes the, the shape of a butterfly. We call it the butterfly fish. Now, remove first the bile, abdo in Tagalog. The bile is really thrust or thrown in the garbage. Next, remove the intestines. It in Pangasinan, Bituka in Tagalog. Set it aside because uh, actually the intestines can be cooked. Then remove the gills. My farm overseer is now removing the gills, then setting it also aside. As in the intestines, the gills can be recycled, can be used as, uh, as trash fish, yeah. which can be fed to the fish or to the crabs. Then we're trying to remove the backbone by slicing under the backbone with the sharp edge of the knife. She started at the head, then breaking the last bone of the backbone from the head and detaching the last bone of the backbone and the tail. And the backbone is set aside also. If you notice, the piece of backbone still has some flesh with it. And sometimes enterprising persons Make use of this uh, remnant flesh in the backbone to make uh, Lumpia Shanghai. You see here the bile, Abdo in Tagalog. You see here the Intestine. intestines, Pait, Pait in Pangasinense hmm. or Bituka in Tagalog. And you see here the gills, Hasang, Hasang in, Asang. Asang in Pangasinan, hmm. Hasang in Tagalog. Hmm. And you see here the backbone. So okay, we now resume the, the deboning. Let me explain before I proceed. You can see three lines here. The one half of the butterfly fish, you can see this line. First. This is the first arc line or layer. Then you will see the second arc line or layer. Then you will see the third arc line or layer. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me explain that the first arc line is the arc line at the dorsal side or the back side. The pin bones or the tiny spines are located at the first line and the third line. Again, the fist, the pin bones, the tiny pin bones which are the pesky bones embedded in the muscles of the bangus or the flesh of the bangus are located in the first line and third line. The middle line here does not contain any pin bones. Okay, so what, what the deboner is doing is to deepen this arc line by about a centimeter or so. What she will do now is to remove the bigger bones that you can see at the surface of the flesh. These are part of the rib cage that has been cut when you first remove the backbone. Just don't remove this black portion, which is the, this contains the fat which is uh, desired by consumers in general. 
So what the deboner is doing is to just remove the bigger bones before we remove the smaller, more difficult pin bones.